before turning on the hydraulics bench, ensure that your equipment is set up properly. Turn on the hydraulic bench, maneuver the switch to the on position, using the valve handle, twist to allow water to enter the system. Using this valve, you can adjust the flow rates from high and low flows, depending on what is needed for the experiment. Some experiments require a volume collection. Depending on the experiment, there are two methods. Those are using a volumetric cylinder or using the volumetric tank. Refer to your lab manual to determine which one should be used. When using the volumetric tank, the rubber weighted stopper can be used to begin the volume collection. By twisting the handle, this allows the ball to drop and allows for water to start accumulating. Using the scale given on the side of the bench, this can be used to determine the volume acquired. When doing a timed volume collection, have your timer ready when you drop the rubber weighted ball. Observing the sight gauge, begin the time when the meniscus reaches zero. There are two zero marks for volumetric readings. If a low flow rate is given, the lower sight gauge can be used. To know if it can be used, your time collection of volume must fall below 6 liters before the given time requirement. If your flow rate is too large, you must use the higher sight gauge. In order to accomplish this, simply start your timer when the water level meniscus reaches the upper zero level. Some experiments require the stilling baffle. This allows the flow rate to be steadied when taking volumetric flows. Consult your lab manual to see if it is required.